Hey party people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor, but I go by T Ram Suit on all of my platforms. And today I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this hairstyle. I'm actually super excited for y'all to see this because it took a lot less time than I thought it would. Um, but also we did run into a few little hiccups on the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video so you guys can see how I achieved this look in detail. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye, it's definitely bright and early as you can see I'm starting off on a blow-dried hair as you can see my hair is very naturally silky and just fine which was definitely a problem with using such coarse kinky hair but we'll address that later I'm parting my hair to the best of my ability in the middle part and going to do the same for the next four sections so I'm going to do a middle part and then part the back section and then once I part the back section, I'm going to section out the front, put it into a little bun, and then do the exact same thing to the other side. So once I get the other side done, I'm going to go in with the Biolage Multiple Benefits Spray. Um, it's like an all-in-one spray. Not sure what it does or what the benefits are, but I'm hoping that it's going to moisturize my hair and keep it hydrated while it's in this protective style because... We definitely need that. Now this next part is very important. I am using 12 inch spring afro twist hair for the back half of my hair. 12 inch, not 16, 12 inch. I'm gonna take one already separated piece and then divide it into two. That is how I am achieving this length and also the thickness of my twist. I'm going to part the back to the best of my ability, which ain't that great. But you know what? Them parts back there are between me and God, okay? Once I get my hair parted, I'm going to go in with my Kiss Colors braiding gel. And y'all, this actually smells amazing. I'm going to start off with a braid first. And then once I go down far enough, I'm going to split my hair into two to start twisting my hair along with the added hair. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth a little bit later in the video, but this is what it looks like. I just start twisting, twisting, twisting down. And I also started a timer because I wanted to see how long it would take me to actually start and finish this entire hairstyle. As I get closer to the end of the twist, I'm going to be taking some mousse to ensure that the end of the twist is curling and it looks a lot more natural because we don't want it looking straggly. Here I go with this part and again, like I said, this is between me and Jesus. You don't worry about that. So here's an update on how the twists are coming out and yes a little slanted but so is your parky moving on and for all the people who may not be able to braid you don't necessarily need to know how to braid to do this style like if you can plait because braiding and plaiting are different if you can plait adding in extra hair is not much different so don't be discouraged if you can't braid hair i promise you you will be able to do this style once you get the hang of adding the hair and braiding your hair into it. Um, and also I wanted to point out here, you can see some of my hair sticking out. And it is very apparent that my hair texture does not match this hair texture. But I want to be a 4C girly. So for the time being, we're going to ignore that. Once I get to the end of each twist, I am going in with scissors and making sure that I cut off any excess strands that are left over that just look out of place so here i'm cutting it so the bottom looks a little fuller now we are officially at the halfway point and i'm honestly loving it the parts are a little suspect not gonna lie but again who is that between me and jesus you got it so we are at the two hour and 40 minute mark i believe of doing this style and honestly i'm impressed super important i'm using 16 inch hair for the front of my head same brand same color just using a different length for the front i do have a bob and i wanted that effect for these twists so that is why i use different lengths for the front and back of my head i'm going to be repeating the exact same steps as i did for the back of my head i'm going to be taking one pre-parted piece splitting that in half and that is going to be the size of my twist in the front now here is the important part I have three pieces, two pieces of the added hair and my real hair. I'm going to take that piece and start a braid, braiding it as tight as possible and as close to the scalp as possible. 
so that the braid is secure. I'm gonna braid down until I feel like it's super secure and then twist using my right hand over my left hand. When using this kind of hair, if you don't twist with the pattern of the curl, it will look really weird and it just, will un it won't unravel necessarily, but it just won't look right. But also your girl was really, really, really getting into this show and I was watching Painkillers, so highly recommend it if you haven't seen it on Netflix. And this girl was trying to give a sob story when she did all these people wrong. And our girl Uzo got her together. Okay, period. Yeah. And honestly, I think that's the biggest tip when doing your hair. Find a good show or a good movie and just veg out. So this is what we're looking like. 75% done and your girl is really starting to feel herself. Yeah, the vision is coming together and it looks supernatural, which is the goal. I'm going in with that all-in-one spray again just to moisturize my hair. And we're just going to keep repeating these steps. We are officially approaching the finish line at 5 hours and 57 minutes. I'm going in with the Curls Blueberry Mint Scalp Treatment Oil to make sure my scalp is moisturized and hydrated while my hair is in this protective style. And also, this oil just smells amazing and it makes your scalp tingle. Who doesn't love that? Exactly. We all love it. So I'm just applying that all over and then this is the moment where I start to feel myself. The look has officially come together. The hair is done. Like I'm starting to reach that point of a runner's high, if you know what I mean. Doing practice styles on it just to see, you know, what I could possibly do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When the duck lips come out, you know she's that girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So just seeing what styles I could do. And I will be styling them very soon. So make sure you stay tuned to my Instagram to finish off this look. I'm going in with some lot of body mousse to seal it all in. And also just lock in that moisture and make sure that the style will hold. So I'm going to add my scarf and then blow dry my hair. And that will be all she wrote, ladies and gents. But first, we got to make sure those baby hairs are laid. I did leave a little bit of my baby hair out just to give the look a little... A zhuzh, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that will be... This look did not take as much work as I thought it would. I completed it in a way shorter amount of time than I planned. So if you are looking to do this look, I would recommend doing this for something really quick. Like, I won't be keeping this in for a very long time. So this was the perfect style. I only spent $16 for the hair. $6.99 for the 12 inch pack and $10.99 for the 16 inch pack. This is the finished product for five hours of my time and 16 of my bucks. I definitely think this look was worth it. Let me know if you try it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. This girl is officially a happy camper because she saved a cute coin and she has a hairstyle for the next few weeks. A win is a win. A win is a win. So this is the finished product and I absolutely do love it. One of the things that I did run into in doing this hair is my texture of hair not matching the hair. So I have very soft, very a loose curl pattern, um, 3B, 3C. Um, so my hair, naturally my hair texture is not this coarse or this curly. Um, so as you can see on some pieces, my hair is like poking out a little bit um, and it just doesn't match but I think that kind of goes into the messy look a little bit more and I think the more that I wear them the more they look lived in the better they will look and I kind of also like how it looks like invisible locks a little bit um, like I've always wanted to try locks of course not permanently but yeah you can see here like my hair is just a lot looser and a lot softer so for people with my hair texture i would definitely stick more towards the spring twist because that curl pattern matches my natural curl pattern um, a little bit better but i just think this hair texture is just so beautiful and i'm not a 4c girly but i get to be for a little while so i really like that also i did not use all packs of the hair so i want to show you guys how much hair i have left over um and i will be using that hair just to refresh my hair over the next few weeks because i'll probably keep these in for about three weeks um i'll never keep a hairstyle in too long i need to switch it up but i want to show y'all how much hair i have left over 
So as I previously mentioned, I used 12 inch hair in the back half of my hair and 16 inches in the front. So for the back half of my hair, I had this much hair left over. I would say a little less than half of the bundle. Um, so in this pack, only two bundles came in the 12 inch pack, not three bundles like the 16 inch pack. So I would say I have like a little less than half left over and I used that for the back half of my hair. I used the 16 inches for the front half of my hair and I have a complete bundle left over. So there were three bundles that came in this and I only used two bundles to complete the front half of my hair but also I did smaller parts for the front half of my hair compared to the back of my hair just because you can see the front more than you can see the back and I have a full bundle left over so I'll be using the hair that I have left over just to refresh any twists that I feel like are just getting a little bit too frizzy because I really do love to have my hair like looking freshly done all the time which is a perk of doing your own hair as well. I did use 1B for the hair color in both packs um, and it took me 5 hours and 57 minutes to complete the entire look. Um, and that does not include any food breaks or anything. Like anytime I did take a break, I stopped the top, the the stopwatch because I really wanted to know how long it took me just to do the actual hair and not regular life. So it took me five hours and fifty seven minutes, and I got a really good show in while I was doing it. And this is the finished product, so I'm very very pleased at how this came out. My parts are a lot straighter than I thought they'd be, which is very exciting. So I'll be styling these soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment how you feel in the comment section below. And also ask any questions that you may have about the hair process or the hair in general. I will be sure to leave all information in the description bar below to answer any questions. Um, and always remember, I love you. God loves you more. And never forget to stay prayed up, stay motivated, and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.